No, everybody does a battle of love. There's got to be something else. you got to have some blood. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? The ratings are down. What should we do in the new season? How about a grudge match? No holds barred. Use some of that new seed out there. Like that one. That way if she gets hurt too bad, it won't make any real difference. Because you hadn't planned on using her much anyways. Were you dead? I don't think she's ready. And besides, who's she gonna fight? Why me of Hey, I'm the biggest draw you've got. Right, what are you trying to do, kill her? There's 30 days to the taping of the show. And you've got plenty of time to practice and, and work with her, right, Daddy? She's real green. The audience will love it. The amateur against the pro. Sounds crazy. Sounds dangerous. But I'll tell you what. Put it off. It'll be one hell of a show. The baptism of blood. I could get the other two rookies together, put together a tag team. Can we have a real match with rookies? Oh, it's gonna be real long. It's gonna be an ass kicker. I don't know. You want blood? You got it, baby. I'm gonna show that little baby face what being an angel is all about. Found out who she was, didn't you? No, what? Who is she? She's Killer Kane's granddaughter. You want a promotion? I'm great. You want a promotion? I love it. I love it. The press is gonna soak this up like a buffalo shitting golden nickel. <laughs> like you bit off just a little more than you can chew this time, huh? Hey, I don't give a shit who she is. I'm gonna chew her up and spit her right out. Don't suck, man. It's like another million in the bank, pal. Maybe even more. Gee, that was a tremendous ending to that match. It's easy to see right now why the magnificent Mimi is truly one of the greatest athletes in this sport today. Woo, baby, that was terrific. That was truly magnificent. You deserve to be my number one angel, baby. You know, I saw a magnificent Mimi tonight. Black Venus gave you basically all you could handle, but she took her to the post. It was really, well, it was actually fun to watch me. Let me tell you, Lee, that's why I'm the champion. That's why I have the belt. It's all in my technique. All in the what time of day, I've got to ask you the most important question now on behalf of all the wrestling fans, and that is, just who will the Magnificent Mimi fight next? Haley, I got all sorts of... Wait a minute! The chicken shit's fighting me! Watch it, Lee! Who the hell do you think you're calling chicken shit? I'm gonna ring this scarty little neck and throw it out in the third row! Oh, Magnificent Mimi, the mouth yelling strong part of you is your breath! My breath! made her look great. Thanks. All right, hold on a second. Hold it right there. Sure. What we're going to do, I'll do you want to come in. We'll start off with Diamond Dave and the Magnificent Mimi. Mm -hmm. Well, just hang on a sec. We've got to knock down a two-minute promo for the baptism of blood. Two minutes, everybody. I understand. Are you ready? Two minutes, Dave. Hey, we're going to need to roll. Are we rolling? Rolling. Hi, everybody. Lee Marshall here with Diamond Dave, the Hollywood Crave, and Magnificent Mimi, the queen of the American Angels. And we are talking about the most historic and the most exciting event in the history of professional wrestling. I'm talking the best. about the Baptism the best. of Blood. It's coming up September yeah. 15th from the Houston Sportatorium. Now, before we go on a little further, I want to bring in a young lady that I know wrestling fans all over the world are going to be very excited Ooh, to meet. Look at that! Her name look is at that! Luscious Lisa. And fans, especially those of you who have been following professional wrestling for some time, I know you know her <laughs> legendary grandfather. I'm talking about the very famous George Killer Kane. George Killer Kane's granddaughter. Well, it's sure good to see you in a sport like professional Thank wrestling. You. All right, Dave, let me ask you. Let's get right down to business here. We're 
five weeks away from the baptism of blood. Yes. Are the American angels going to be ready for it? You know it. Hey, I can answer for the pros, please. Let me tell you, I'm more than ready. But the question is, when the fight comes up, mm -hmm. will she show up? Well, what about it, Lisa? <laughs> I can't wait. All right, Lisa, let me, let me <laughs> ask you. Mighty, mighty big words. I understand. The other thing I would like to ask you, your grandfather famous for a very dangerous maneuver called the snap. Do you know the snap? And will you use the snap? Is going well, Lee, snap. Lee, I know the snap. Yes, I learned it when I was just a little girl. Right but it's far too dangerous, so I won't be using the snap. Now there you heard it from Luscious Lisa. She Listen has no here, intent. Honey. Whoa, whoa, give him a little heat. You little carry cup, midget. I don't care what you use. Snap, crackle, or pop. I'm gonna win 20 big ones for killing you in the baptism of blood. Excuse me, girls, we'll get your chance in just a while, okay? Mimi, let's face it, you're the best in the world. I know, but nobody can stay on top forever. I love it. No. It's gonna be the best. Okay, Mimi, but you never like working with green girls. I know, but at least it'll give her the feel of working with me since she is wrestling me in the show, you know. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Hey. Ready for some real moves, honey? Sure. Ah! The more you yeah. stay away from day. your natural color hair, sweetie? Get this shit out of here. Let's try that one more time. Ah! 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 Go and get Dave. Mimi's gonna kill us. Oh, sorry. Did I hurt you? Ah! Let's just try that one more time, okay, cutie? See if she's all right. She does that one pretty good, doesn't she? Mimi, get your ass down here. I want to see you in my office right now. Okay. Just as soon as I wash some of this stink off me. You have a problem? No, no. Tell her. I... What were you telling him? Well, I was just kind of wondering mm -hmm. when we were going to really start wrestling. When are you going to start wrestling? We really start wrestling.
no way.
Magnificent Mimi ready to challenge her luscious Lisa. And as we said before, there is absolutely no love loss between these two athletes. And I don't think either one of them wants to split that $20,000. <laughs> they want the whole thing and they both want first blood. We are ready for one of the most historic and one of the most exciting events in all of sport. It will be the Blood Bass Spectacular. You know what it's going to be? A double D. Bam! Magnificent Mimi, right away, Colin Elder, into the ropes goes Mimi, nice snap there by Lundgren. Tremendous move, sort of goes right away on the left with it, she intends to take that belt as it's all possible. Mimi, she's already hot, two hip locks and a third hip lock, and that's got to frustrate the Magnificent One. Three tremendous moves right out of the gate by Lundgren, Lisa, and what a drop hole, oh, that's what we thought about that. that is a spectrum. She's going to break by the leg. Oh! I'll tell you what. In the first two and a half minutes of this fight, I guarantee you, Diamond Dave, Magnificent Mimi will remember where she was tonight. Still holding on to that hammer lock. The third big time, Magnificent Mimi in a power move. She had to reverse with the body rod, but right now, just dumps much as Lisa now. Thunder and introduction of Matt, and now Mimi's starting to put the boots to Luscious Lisa. So if there's one up handle, one criticism I've ever had of Magnificent Mimi, if she plays to the crowd, she'll get her opponent in a compromising position, and she'll start talking to the crowd. I mean, oh, what a knee lift by Mimi! I've never understood this guy the day. I mean, these young ladies don't get paid by the hour. I would think they'd want to get in there and get out of there as quickly as possible. Look at this, cranking her up, cranking her up like an old bitch. Oh no, and down goes the Magnificent meaning, long time a champion of the American Angels. You know, Diamond Day, you don't get to be champion by flipping coupons or winning some sort of lottery. Reversal, look at this. Hip block and down goes Mimi. I think she's absolutely confused. I've got to believe that Luscious Lisa came in here with a battle plan. Mimi came in here on sheer cockiness and reversal again into a hip block. The lady is showing the magnificent one more than she bargained for. All right, she's showing us a rookie mistake right there. She should have gotten right after the magnificent one when she had an opportunity. She gave Mimi a chance that no wrestler is ever going to live to talk about, and that is to give Mimi her second win. And she just took the win right out of the lunch run. Knees into the midsection. On the face of the magnificent Mimi, reversal by Lucy. That's what I mean. She's got to move in there. She's got to move in there. Got to move just a little bit too late. He or she who hesitates is lost, and Lisa was absolutely lost on that. Well, I don't know if she's going to get up. The magnificent one is going to introduce her to the bottom of her shoe first. Mimi is not above putting the boots to anybody. I've seen her do it to some of the guys. 
Oh, in the ring apron at first, so much as leaves the compliment of the magnificent meeting. We're going for first blood here, Dave. Don't forget, $5,000 for whoever can draw first blood on their opponent. First on the top of the ropes now. What she's got to score for Lisa. Oh, guillotine leg drop from the top rope. Let's check if she drew first blood on that. No, no. I thought she was going to have to Lisa open with that one, but she did not. That bears by the hair. Lisa holds on to her back, and the top of her head can't be seen with any much better. One thing down the way, both that they must have been and what they did, are going to remember where they were that night. No doubt about it. Lisa went into the room, she went out of 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 the room, she went out one more time, here she comes, again with a flying head scissors. Can she take her down? No! Again, that slight hesitation, that, that one rookie mistake. And now he's just going to work. You can see the difference, what I'm talking about, Dr. Dave. The magnificent one does not give you a second to think about it. No, sir. When she's got you in a compromising position, guillotine leg drop by the magnificent man. She will be all over you like white on rice. That's something that Lisa, I guarantee you, is going to learn. If nothing else, he's going to learn that tonight. Marina, what's she doing in there? I'm telling you, she gets in the middle of this one. She is looking for real trouble. Look at that magnificent man. He's taking Lisa into it again and dumps her. And here's the mistake that Mimi makes. She'll start playing to the crowd. Oh, 
hit him with that elbow. He's over the top rope. I don't see him moving. I don't see him moving. He fell right on his back. Look at this whole Michael body track.
kicks out. This is tremendous. This is exactly what it's supposed to be. We promised that it would be one of the greatest fights of all time, and that is exactly what. Oh, what you're seeing tonight. Right now, it is all magnificent meetings, totally working over Luscious Lisa. Luscious Lisa, I don't think he can stand. And now the magnificent one is talking to Luscious Lisa, thinking her in the face. He's telling her not only what she intends to do to her, but what she's doing to her. And Lisa is still able to kick out of the house. I have never, ever seen anything like this. Mimi is out. She's not moving at all. Not saying the Hollywood Quake, he's trying to glide on the status of his American mm. Angel champion. But mm, he's got to be concerned, too. I think Mimi's got to ride. I don't know exactly where she is. I mean, I'm not sure. He just got snapped. I'm not going to tell you, I have only heard about it. I wasn't even sure that such a thing existed until tonight. But you saw it, I saw it, the world saw it, and nobody has ever seen anything like it before. Such as now. Man, I can tell you this much. I don't know where the referee is, and I don't know what happened. I can't tell you shit. The magnificent meeting. She will retain her championship belt. She was not defeated by Kim Paul in this qualification. But luckish Lisa, I'm telling you, she has proven to me. Welcome to the American Angels. That she indeed is the champion. Will there be a rematch? There has absolutely got to be a rematch between these two young ladies. Because, fans, it just doesn't get any better.